Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today we have an exciting topic to discuss. Have you ever wondered how some people are making thousands of dollars just by creating YouTube Shorts? Well, in this video we are going to deep dive into the world of YouTube Shorts and show you an easy process to create over 100 Shorts in less than 20 minutes using Canva and ChatGPT. So if you are ready to start generating passive income, stay tuned. To begin with, we'll be using a powerful combination of two tools, Canva and ChatGPT. Um, if you do not know about Canva, Canva is a user-friendly design platform that will help us create visually appealing shots, while ChatGPT, powered by OpenAI, will assist us in generating engaging and unique ideas for our shots. So as I mentioned earlier, you can pick any of the shots that you want, but uh, for today's lesson, I'm going to use the written format. So I'll be asking ChatGPT to create some riddles, around 30 riddles I'm asking, but the same way you can create 100, 200, whatever you want. Riddles to be generated, um, and then ChatGPT will generate the riddles for us. So let's see what it does. So it says it, it has started writing the riddles for me. So for example, first one, I speak without a mouth and hear without ears, what am I? So it's equal. So similarly, it will be creating um, 30 riddles for me. And as I mentioned, you can ask ChatGPT to generate 100 or 200, whatever number of riddles you want to generate. And the process remains same. So I'll be showing 30 different riddles today, but you can use 100, 200, whatever you want. And it will take around a similar time uh, for you to uh, get those shorts generated. So let's move to Canva. So you just need to open canva.com. And if you all, if, if you haven't signed up for Canva, you just need to create on sign up. You, uh, sign up. You can use your email ID or Gmail ID, anything um, uh, to log in uh, to log in into Canva. Once you are logged in, you will be coming up with. It will be. It will show the similar kind of uh, layout to you. Today we are focusing on creating a short video. So we'll click on what we'll do is we'll create on the video link, this video icon. And then since we are working on YouTube shorts, so we'll be selecting this one. This will open a page like this. Now, since our topic today is riddles, so what we can do is we'll be searching some video that should be displaying at the um, back end, right? So I'll just select uh, riddles, no, sorry, inside element. You need to go inside elements. Then you need to select it, okay? And you need to click on videos. Now there are multiple things coming up. So what I'll do is I'll just select this one. And what I'll do is I'll just click over here and click it as set as background. So this is my background. If, if I'll just play this one, it is this is how it is going to look. Now at this point in time, you can see the video size is 15 seconds, right? But I want to have my video size video to be of um, uh, around uh, what do you call it, 10 seconds. So how we can do that? So to change the video duration, what you can do is, is you can just click on playback and increase the speed. Okay. So I have increased the speed and now the video duration is 10 seconds. I'll keep it like that. Now what I need to do is I need to, uh, since uh, my video topic is uh, riddle, so what I'm going to do is I'll just add one heading um, here and then I'll just make it like riddles and effects and what i'll do is i'll just add some background okay so this is how it looks if i want to reduce the size and i just go over here and click it like okay if i want to make it center aligned or something i just need to click on position and click on center it will make my text centrally aligned okay now we need to have one text that would have our question right the details that we are talking about so i'll just click here and i'll select one uh, first riddle that chat gpt gave me and i'll just paste it over here and similarly the, it is not currently visible so what I, i'll do the same thing first one first thing what i'll do is i'll just add the background eyes so it looks something like this if i want to change the font what i can do is i'll just click over here change the font size to 75 maybe and then i'll also change the font size to something else maybe this one maybe this one okay this one looks good Okay, so this is how my question is looking going to look to the viewers. Now this third part would be I need to add the answer. So what I'll do is I'll just duplicate this one. I'll move it to uh, somewhere over here. Okay, and what I'll do is I'll also I'll go to ChatGPT and add the answer. Okay, and I if I want to change the background uh, color or something, I can do that. Right. So I already have mentioned you. Uh, we need to go to uh, effects and I want to change the background color maybe something to uh, mm -hmm. maybe what I can I want to do is I just want to change the background color to this and font color to white okay so this is how it looks 
now I, I also want to give some animation to my text so to do that I'll uh, first I'll go to effects um, or sorry animate and then I'll click on type okay there is third thing that we need to do is uh, as you must have seen if you have gone through the riddles that I'm talking about what they, what we do generally do is we just uh, present the question to the user as soon as the question ends we will start the timer or maybe the progress bar as soon as progress bar ends then we um, show the answer to the viewers so this is what we are we are trying to achieve over here so to add the progress bar you just need to click on uh, R button from your keyboard it will open a rectangular box for you you just need to um, make it little uh, bit like this and then once done you will be You'll just click over here and move it below okay. and you will do the side a little bit you will move it over here and then make it look full okay. if you want to change the color then you can go over here and then you can change the color maybe i'll keep it like green okay however this this progress bar currently is kind of static it's a kind of rectangular box now we want to give it a kind of uh, animation of progress bar right so to do that i'll click on animate and i'll click on this white okay and then the currently is it too fast so to reduce the speed we'll just reduce it from here and now you can see this is how it looks right okay so now our video content is ready it's more about how to place it correctly in sequence right so to do that i'll just click on um, sorry i'll click uh, on this uh, uh, box and what i'll do is i'll just right click and there you, you see it says show timing you need to click on this alternatively you can also click on this three dot button and it will show you the same menu as soon as you click on show timing this uh, bar will appear over here so here you need to play around with this so first thing what you want to do you will wait till the time so you want your progress bar so you need to, this is for video this is for your progress bar but what you want to do is you want your progress bar to be started after as soon as question ends right so somewhere here question ends so you want your pro progress bar to be started from from here right okay now let's see your progress bar should start running now now you will have to wait now your answer should appear once progress bar ends so you'll have to see where your progress bar ends right so over here your progress bar ends around at nine seconds after nine seconds your answer should appear right so what you will do is you will put your position of this answer starting from here okay and then you also want this to be displayed at the same position right somewhere at the center so um okay so let's see how it looks So now question is, so here my question ends in progress bar star, as soon as progress bar ends, my answer appears, right? So this is what we are looking for. So this is the video that has been generated. So one video is ready. You do have that option to, you know, click on share. And then once you click on download, uh, it will download a video for you. It might take, uh, oh, once you click on download button, it will download a video for you. And you can see that video that how it looks. Uh, uh, maybe we'll have to wait a couple of seconds. In the meanwhile, what we can do is, We'll go over here and we'll select all the output that uh, chat gpt gave, gave us right so i'll just go down below and select all the 30 mm, you know riddles that chat gpt gave me okay okay so you can see my response is not complete so if if i want my response to be completed i can just um, and ask chat gpt to continue okay and it will uh, do the rest for me okay so you, you should not be worried about that but for now i'm keeping whatever uh, output was generated by chat gpt okay so to do that what where i need to go is I'll, I'll just click on apps okay and in the meanwhile while my video uh, the one that i have created is generated you, you need not to worry about this overlap your ultimate result would not have any kind of overlap so let me quickly see how my video looks like and then we'll move ahead with our uh, bulk upload creation. So this is how it looks.
okay so nice um now what i uh, what i need to do is i need to, and then as soon as i click on apps i'll click on bulk okay press enter so first option bulk create option will appear you click over here and what i'll do is i'll just mention enter data manually okay before entering the data you just need to clear the table okay and then you you keep your cursor over here and paste so you see we have all our riddles paste over here and answers paste over here i'll click on done okay. now what i need to do is i need to connect this one so i'll um, i'll select this option the first one and then i'll click i'll right click and then there is one option appearing connect data so i just have clicked the question one so i'll connect it to riddle and then similarly i'll click over uh, echo click on uh, the answer click on right uh, click right button connect data click on answer so what i have done is i had two different fields right riddle that basically tells up about the actual riddle and then answer what is what is the answer of this uh, riddle so what i have done is i have connected my question part to the first section and answer part to the second section right and i'll click on continue you can see it has generated around 30 uh, different riddles for me okay and i'll click on generate and uh, it will take a couple of minutes and then all my riddles are ready right so if i click on second one you see this is there's another riddle third one another riddle fourth one another riddle fifth one another one nice isn't it so now your 30 riddles are ready in just maybe 15 minutes we spent together right even less than that so um you the only thing is sometimes there are people those are using the same format Right throughout uh, the video. So if you if you go if you search on those short videos, you will find that people are using the same format. And if you want to keep it like that, you can utilize. You can just click on share, click on download, and it will download all thirty videos for you. But I want I want to give you another option, right? If in case you want to change the background of any specific video, right? What you can do is you will just click on elements. Again, select any other video. For example, you want to give, right? So give click on riddle go to videos so for example now i for this particular second video i want to use this background right so i'll just place it click over here and the background will change okay don't worry about this uh, overlap once you actually generate uh, the video this overlap will not be there similarly for the third one i want to use this one i'll just click over here and then the background has been changed fourth one this one click over here background will be changed Fifth one, if in case you find any uh, trouble, for example, I just skipped over here and you do not see it uh, coming at the background, we'll just click on this three icon and click on replace background and it will do the same thing for you. So you see, I have changed the background for five videos. Similarly, what I can do is for the sixth one, I'll just click over here and I, uh, I'll select some other, uh, uh, other uh, format. I'll go here and then I'll replace it. That's it. For some of the cases, one thing to notice, if video size that you are replacing it with, if the size of that video is long, it will be, it will go a little further. So you need, you need to reduce it to 10 seconds. So whatever video size you created, you will have to keep it for that duration only. So I'll, if somebody, something is, some uh, video is going beyond 10 seconds, I'll have to just drag it to uh, 10 seconds. So this is something that you need to take care of in case you are changing the video background. And in case the video size of that background video that you are replacing it with, uh, is of kind of a longer duration then only you need to make this change otherwise you are good so as you can see uh, let me do is i can let me uh, download this video and show these three four videos how does it look like maybe you, you guys would have some doubt that why it is appearing on top of it but as i mentioned in the actual video once we generate the output you will not have uh, you know similar kind of uh, 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 what i call it uh, issues right you will have it separated so let me change this one as well so it takes, so as I mentioned, right, I just have used 30, you can have 100, you can have 200, 300, it took 30, less than, uh, you know, 20 minutes to generate all these videos, right? And believe me, there are people, those are using these short videos to generate thousands of dollars per month. So if you are able to spend 30, 40 minutes in a month, then also you can generate the content. Con, uh, content for the complete month you just need to upload three four videos on regular basis and you start earning money so, okay so let me uh, download that to download it uh, to download it you will have to click on share click on download uh, 
icon then and here there is an option right download pages as separate files since we want to upload these videos separately as a different short video so what i'll do is i'll check over here right and i'll click on download the only problem is since these are kind of uh, there are 30 videos the size of file would be around more than 100 mb so it, it will take some time so i'll just pause it here i don't want you guys to waste your time i'll just pause it here and then after some time i'll show you the actual output how the uh, how the files look like um i can show you the first video that we had was the one that the actual format that we had so you can see this is the ribbon that uh, we created as our reference written reference video so here it is um second video again we change the background and again you see the background has been changed and then you see the different title is coming and obviously you will get the different answer as soon as this title is complete so similarly we have all our 30 uh, you can see there are 30 titles so in this way you'll be able to create similarly you'll be able to create different videos for you as well if in case you find any difficulty creating these videos let me know in the comment section and i'll be i'll try to reply you within 24 hours and if you like this video please hit the like button and consider subscribing to this channel thank you so much everyone thanks for watching have a nice day Bye.